In this video, I'm going to show you how to get custom parts in Space Flight Simulator. So first step is you need to open up your Steam library like so. Then you're going to want to scroll to Space Flight Simulator either here in the photo or on the side here. And you're going to want to click on Properties. Now in Properties, you want to go over to Beta and you're wanting to pick the Mod Loader Beta. Now the Beta does have an access code. The current code is here. You can always check the Discord for the latest code, but you go like this and the beta is unlocked. Now, I've already downloaded the beta, so it's good to go here, but if you're doing it for the first time, it's gonna take a few seconds to load the beta software onto your computer. So you'll have to go through a slight download sequence with Spaceflight Simulator to update it. Once you've finished updating your game, you're going to want to move to the game folder. Now, this is dependent on where you store your apps. For me, I store it on my D drive and you'll want to navigate all the way to Space Flight Simulator game. You're gonna open up data. You're gonna to wanna to open up custom assets and here you're gonna have parts which you can download parts off the internet which I will put a link in the description. And you can also download and upload your own custom skins like Blue Origin, for example. In addition, if you want to use mods, you can. Uh, you do need a folder called mods. Either it'll get created or you can create it yourself. And then here you're going to download the mods. And the mods are .dll files. You can put the DLL files right in here. And the first time that they're run by the program, they'll create its own folder and it'll be put here. Now, if we go into Space Flight Simulator, this is what we end up with. You can see that you have the mod loader and this allows you to load various mods onto your game and when you go into the game you can see that when you open up the blueprint you'll notice that you have access to a whole bunch of additional parts that you have uploaded into that folder for example this is the plutonium 238 tank that i use in my exotic pack to fuel all the exotic elements be sure to check out some of my mods that I've made through these video links here and thanks for watching.